How long is a piece of string? With multiple units of measure, you can choose the purchase unit you'd like to use per product, assign bulk unit pricing per supplier and quantity purchase discounts, allowing you to purchase your items in units specific to your business. Send, receive and review purchases that are perfect for your supplier and perfect for you. To set up multiple units of measure, create your units by going to Units of Measure in your system settings. Now for the fun part. Let's apply a unit to a product. Here you can see your base unit, and the stock on hand shown mirrors this. So in this example, you can see 100 snippets of string. Now you can create an alternate unit for this product. For example, I buy my string by the truckload. So I can put that in here. It is recommended to use your smallest increment of product as a base unit. When you purchase in bulk, prices and quantities are more easily multiplied on purchase orders during receipting. For example, if you use grams of salt in an assembly, but purchase in kilograms, then your base unit should be grams, your purchasing unit kilograms, and the conversion rate times 1000. The conversion rate is the multiplier used to calculate your alternate unit. Think of it as one alternate unit is the base unit multiplied by the conversion rate. For example, one case equals bottle times 12. One gram equals kilogram times 0.001. Alternate units are a great way to simplify your documents for purchasing in different quantities and they make buying in bulk or buying in imperial or metric units a breeze. We hope you love using multiple units of measure for purchases and can finally measure the length of a piece of string.